Hi, I am George at Salsped, and in this video we're going to discuss um, the installation of the web service component for data collection. And uh, you, you're going to need to have the Internet Information Services uh, installed on the Windows server. So, um, just to give you a little bit of background on that, if you go to the Add and Remove Program section of the Control Panel, um, you can click on the Add and Remove Windows Components button and this is going to bring this screen here. Under the Application Server option, if you hit Details, you have the IIS or Internet Information Services and you can check that and uh, hit OK and it will go on to install that feature for you. And uh, uh, In my case I'm just going to hit Cancel, I already have it installed but you will be at this screen when that's uh, installed it will not list it here it will only appear checked under the components under the add and remove se uh, component section um, but um, once it's installed you're gonna have this console under uh, my computer and manage so this is the tool that it installs um, since I already have um, the data collection web service installed I am going to show you how to do an upgrade the same procedure applies for new installations except with the removal part so uh, before I uh, remove the web service I am going to back up the web config file that gets installed when, uh, when, you, when you install it so uh, I'm going to go to the inet pub and ww root and this is my installation folder and here's my web config and I'll talk a little bit more about uh, what the web config is and uh, what how to set it up and I'm just gonna copy it on my desktop for now and minimize this and now I can remove it and accept the prompts and now it's gone okay and I'm gonna minimize this and here's my installation file I'm just going to double click on that and it uh, it launches the wizard and uh, on the second screen is where you have uh, the option to change your virtual directory or application pool and play a little bit about a little bit a little bit with the um, uh, default options in my case I'm just I'm just going to take the default uh, it works perfectly fine and that's going to resume the installation okay I mean, minimize this for a little bit and now I am going to restore the web config at this point the web service is installed so here's my new installation folder and uh, I'm just gonna copy here and replace okay assuming that uh, you're not doing an update um, that you're doing a full uh, full install or a new installation if you edit the web configuration file here is your uh, connection string and usually uh, the critical um, data here to change on your connection string is your server um, which is your database server and uh, in the, the instance of the ser of the database and if there is a different password or user that uh, with administrator of rights you can configure it here in my case uh, it's uh, just pointing to a test a local host and uh, that is my database instance and you can save and close and uh, so this file is what saves the all your configuration settings for the website and uh, at that point uh, it is installed um, sometimes after installation um, a lot of people like to uh, restart the IIS um, I usually try to to wait to see if the scanners uh, connect to the to the web server just fine and uh, it, sometimes I I just if uh, I only do it if it's necessary so um, Feel free to, to try in whatever way you like to you like, and uh, uh, you should have a service at that point. Your your scanner should be able to connect.